So we signed two players today. The Eagles are making moves. Kick the red, double move on the red. Dallas still stinks. Here and I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you guys are doing well. So I wanted to record this video before I head out for the day. Uh, we've been waiting for the Eagles to make some moves, sign some players. We've been watching them try to get under the cap, restructure this guy, cut this guy, possibly trade this guy. But we hadn't seen the Eagles really bring anybody in to better this team. And finally, we are starting to see the Eagles sign some guys. They just signed two guys today uh, signed Adrian Killings yesterday. And I think when you look at all three of these signings so far, I think it's pretty obvious who's running the show, who's in charge of player personnel. We're gonna get into that in a second. But first, who did the Eagles sign today? First guy, and this is a signing that I really, really like, okay? I'm really down with this signing. I think it's a good signing. The Eagles bring back Hassan Ridgeway. Um, good, I think good rotational defensive tackle. He's going to be with uh, Fletcher Cox, Javon Hargrave. We just lost Malik Jackson. Bringing him back is going to be cheap and I think a very underrated signing. He is going to fill depth, which is what you need. And if you look at you know, all these signings so far, they're all about filling depth on the roster, special teams on the roster, and that's what it's been about. These are the kind of signings I think you're going to see, okay? Second signing today. The Eagles signed safety Andrew Adams of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, he was, I believe, an undrafted rookie free agent um, with the Giants. I think he started with the Giants. He was there a few years. Got cut. Went to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and played primarily special teams. He's a backup safety. Plays special teams. Uh, think about Rudy Ford. I believe this is a signing to, in fact, replace Rudy Ford, who was that guy for us. He was a backup safety, but played special teams. Uh, Adams does the same thing, okay? And in 2018, when I guess he was cut from the Giants, the Eagles brought him in. It was it was said they were going to sign him to the practice squad back in 2018. They didn't. He ends up in Tampa Bay. Now he comes uh, to Philly. But it's interesting to me the fact that he was on the Eagles' radar in 2018 because we had a different coaching staff. We had a different coaching staff, but we had the same GM. We had the same GM, um, and this GM knew him, okay? He knows about him. He's seen him, and I think if you look at it, the Adrian Killen signing, the Hassan Ridgeway signing, the Adam signing, it is clear as day that Howie Roseman has a connection with all three of these guys. He knows these guys. He's the one making the signings. He is in charge of player personnel. How much input does Nick Sirianni really have? I don't know. But, you know, people want to know who's really going to be in charge of things. It's not going to be the young coach. It's going to be the GM. So he's going to have to get his crap right when it comes to the draft. And he's going to have to draft right. And you know, now he's talking that he's open to drafting a quarterback. It scares me. I, I don't know what he's thinking, if he's just throwing things off. But uh, these three signings are clearly Howie Roseman signings. He knew each one of these guys. He was involved with Killings coming to Philly. He was been involved with Hassan Ridgeway coming to Philly. And he almost brought uh, Adams to Philly in 2018. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad thing or a good thing. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying that it's clear who's identifying these players because he has a history with, with each of them. Now, the Adams signing, in my opinion, is a, is a fine signing. It's fine. It's a good de depth I can't speak. Depth signing. Uh, it's a good depth signing. So the Eagles sign him. Good, great. He give us some depth and safety. Can play special teams. Not a bad signing. It's a cheap signing. It, it, it could be a fruitful signing, especially on special teams. So I, I have no problem with the signing. I like it. Uh, Hassan Ridgeway. I love that signing. And then the Killians signing. Look, I like Killians. I like his speed. We'll see what he could do. But uh, so far. You know, three death signings. We're going to see what else the Eagles have in store. I got to believe that Harry Roseman and this front office, they have something planned. They have something in store. They have some guys that they're going to go after. They're working on something. And we're going to get something a little more significant at some point in time. Uh, but that's what's happening so far. I will be back later. With that said, take care. 
Talk to you later, and don't be a dingbat.